Well, I like several things. I like five guys in double figures. I like the fact that they shot 29.9%, but the bad news is that they missed some open shots. I don't think we guarded them as well as we wanted to, but uh, they were, Steve was telling me, it was a four-point uh, deficit, 24-19, and then we had a long stretch at the end of the first half and the start of the second half where we outscored them by a big margin. Uh, I think at times we were good defensively. I think at times we did close out on the shooters. We don't like to foul a three-point shooter, but I think we closed out pretty well on them. And I thought Luke in the first half defensively was really uh, good on the big guy inside. He missed a lot of shots that he would normally make, and I realized that. But Luke didn't jump up in the air and foul him and bail him out. Uh, uh, he stayed down and tried to wall him and be big. Uh, so I think that was good. And I think we got some guys off the bench that gave us some good moments. Uh, Sterling had five all of them in the first half. Nasir had 10. Uh, B-Rob had seven. So. Those guys gave us a lift, but we didn't shoot the ball very well. Uh, I really do. <laughs> you know, we've only shot it really well one game all year, so maybe we're saving them up for the stretch run or something. But uh, uh, it's a good team. I feel badly for Bob. He's one of the great guys in our coaching profession and have your best player hurt. Uh, uh, it's, it's a load on those other guys trying to pick up for him. But uh, uh, to get him back, uh, they're going to have a – they are a good team. But if they get him back, that would really help them a great deal. You said last week after the game that one of the issues defensively has been guys rotating and helping them out. Uh, did you see some improvement in that area today? Uh, you know, a couple of times. One time Cam and Luke didn't talk, and the guy got a wide-open layup, and I jumped on them a whole bit. In the second half, they talked, and everything was taken care of. You know, and so it boils down to the fact that uh, at times during our practices, we're pretty good defensively. We communicate great. Uh, but uh, we got to do it in the games as well. We've got to get everybody talking as much as Luke and Kenny talk. The more active you are with your voice, that means you're seeing the bigger picture and you're helping your teammates, there's no doubt. But I think that that's the biggest problem we have is uh, communicating and trying to make sure that everybody gets picked up. But I don't know that I saw it get any better in the last two hours, no. Coach, what was the focus throughout the week with the guys? Just getting better. I know that's corny, but that's the truth. I mean, we talked about we got to get better as a basketball team. Uh, getting ready to play Davidson, you got to understand that they're, uh, I don't know, 47% of their shots are threes. And they have some guys who can really make them, not just shoot them. And so it's a little bit different than a lot of teams that we're going to play. They don't have a low post guy except the freshman, and he's really going to be good. If uh, Bobby can keep some shooters around him for the next couple of years, their team's going to be hard to defend. But uh, just trying to get better every day. Anybody else? Anybody else? Easy, easy deal. What have you learned from the stretch, the five tough games and playing Kentucky, playing Gonzaga? What have you learned through that stretch? We're not as good as I want us to be is the biggest thing. Uh, I think it's been a, a good stretch for us. I think it's getting us prepared for conference play. Uh, you know, at one point we had played 10 games and only had played five of them or 11 games maybe and only had five of them in the, field, in the Smith Center. And I think that for us uh, – uh, that's kind of schedule I'm hoping will have us more prepared for conference play. But it doesn't do you any good to play a great, very difficult schedule unless you win some of those games because that's what they look at is wins over some big-time teams. But uh, I think we've played a, a kind of schedule that's uh, made our guys be attentive every game and not just go out there and go through the motion. So I'm hoping that that helps us. Anybody else? Did you sense an uptick in Kenny's confidence when he had a couple early shots? Yeah, he, he's got a – let me see here. He had three turnovers the first half and ended with three. He's been great at passing the ball, but uh, what was he, two for eight? I, I don't know if two for eight's going to make him any more confident. Well, they, to, they yeah, early. But the thing about it is if you hit him early and you keep shooting them and you start missing them, I don't want you to shoot the daggum thing. Uh, it's, uh, Kenny and Cam and Luke are really all three really good shooters, and uh, they just haven't made uh, uh, the kind of percentage in the games yet that I think they're going to shoot by the end of the year. So that's – Probably the most encouraging thing to me about our team is that we just, uh, we haven't shot the ball really well. And then some of our turnovers are sort of silly, but uh, only had five in the second half. I can live with some turnovers because we play at such a fast pace. I mean, we should have more assists than anybody in our league, and we do normally. And it wouldn't surprise me if we have more turnovers because we play at such a fast pace. But the percentage of turnovers we have is way, way up there, and that's what we've got to stop. Somebody else started. Hey, just last year, um, you watched Kobe White score 41 at the John Wall Hall Invitational. Um, today, he kind of struggled at you know one for seven. He's only scored seven points. Um, he's also turned it over a lot the past couple of games. How do you think he's adjusted to the pace of the college game? Uh, it's it's a work in progress. I mean, you know, I don't give a grade out uh, uh, before the new year, 
Uh, I've seen some guys struggle early in the year and then all of a sudden hit the load and it'd be great for him. I'm extremely confident in Kobe. I think he's uh, going to be a really good player and has had some really good games already. He had seven assists today before he ever had a basket. And uh, so I think that uh, it's not just how many points he scores. He had a great scoring game against, uh, was it Texas? We lost. Okay, so I don't care who scores. I want North Carolina to score, but he's going to be fine. I don't, I don't worry about him.